Okay, let's start with a rather flat cylinder. We take a ring around that in another ring. We can continue, but let's start from there. Let's fill the cylinder by half. By adding another half, the cylinder will be filled and flush or carry its content to the next, next ring, which will then be half filled. If we add another half to this ring, this ring will also be full and flush its content to the next ring, and so on. Let's try and make a water calculator out of this. Take your ring, add another ring on top of that, and a cylinder on top of that. The binary number 011 will be represented by leaving the bottom empty. The middle layer will be filled by half, and the top by half, representing 1. Now let's add 001. Only the top will be filled by another half and hence full. Its content will then be flushed or carried uh, to the next ring. But this ring is also half filled and will be full by the second half, and its content will hence be flushed to the bottom layer, giving the result 100. Let's implement the same idea to an electrical signal or a beam of light, and use the same example as before. The black surface sectors are insulators and preventing the signal from charging and a specific ring. The first ring will be insulated, and the beam of light will hence not leave any charge on this ring, representing a zero. The next ring is not insulated, and will be charged by half, representing a one. The center will likewise be charged by half, representing a one. Let's add zero one one to this. The first and second ring are protected, and hence not charged, both representing zero. The center, however, will be exposed, and get an additional charge filling its capacity. The center will discharge and empty its charge into the next ring. But this ring is already half filled, and the second half will fill its capacity making it discharge to the last ring, which will be half filled, representing the 1. Again giving the result 1, zero, zero. Now let us study the structure of the insulators. Building the binary circle. We start with a simple circle. We divide the circle into two halves and put a zero in one half and one in the other half. We make a new larger circle, divide it into four parts, and put in zeros and one in successive orders. We make a new larger circle, divide it into eight parts, and put zeros and one in successive order. This process can continue with new shells containing 16, 32, 64, and so on, new distinct areas. By combining the zeros and ones, so that a line passes through the center of the last shell, we shall get a radial combination. Radial combination 0, 1, 1. If we color each uh, zero area black and each one area with a white, we get the following mark. Properties of the binary circle. Radial combinations can represent truth tables for the Boolean function f.
in the following case the AND function. The arrows point to the result F in the center. The radial combination that wasn't represented formed the NAND function. The following animation shows some of the representations in both the truth table and the binary circle for the Boolean function, see below. Integer representation and computation, as we already have seen in the water calculator. Adding 31 to 27 equals 50H, which is represented by the red line. Memory by drawing a path and marking radial combinations, for instance. The path can be seen as a member for a string below. External coordinate system. We can get a polar or similar coordinate system by using radial combinations. The direction of the point is described by the radial combination 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. Internal coordinate system. We can get a polar similar coordinate system by using radial combinations. 1, 1, 0, 1 points out the cell that is marked. Let's try to expand this to two 3D binary. The process is similar to playing on an accordion. Starting from the original binary circle, we pull out binary circles on both sides until we get the binary circle with only one shell. I'm leaving you now since my English isn't as good and I think it would be more enjoyable for you to read the rest. Thank you and goodbye.